So it happens. Something. It's strange, it's unusual, it's weird, you don't quite know what to make of it. You tell a few friends or your family, or even your doctor maybe. Bad move. They tell you you're crazy, you're imagining it, you're delusional, you're one of these crazy people. You got something wrong with you, but it's not what you think's going on. You know, they think that whatever it is you say is wrong. But you've seen this stuff. You've experienced it. You know, unequivocally, that something happened. And it was weird, and it was difficult, and it was odd. Maybe it disgusted you, terrified you, frightened you. Maybe it horrified you even. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe it was just exciting and curious and made you ask questions about life and about reality and about nature so what are you going to do the natural response for the human being is to try and find a way of proving it you try you fail maybe the experiences carry on but in a different way like almost as if they occur when they want to but not when you want them to you know it's something which you have to somehow deal with. Either you can make something up and try and persuade people that there's some possibility that they could even be thinking along the lines that you're trying to, you know, get them to. Or you could wait patiently. You could read other, other sources, but you take those other sources to your family, your friends, your doctor, your priest, whatever, and the sources that you're taking, the information that you're taking to these people gets regarded with the same kind of, it's a load of rubbish kind of attitude. When, okay, you know, it's good to be skeptical, but in this particular case, it's right, or at least there's some truth in it, despite the fact that this author or that author or that blog writer may have like misunderstood some of what was going on. How do you feel? You feel alone. You feel confused. You don't quite know what to make of it. Intellectual and rational argumentation actually disproves, and you know it disproves, what you know has happened and is true. You know the difference between a genuine experience and a hallucination. You know the difference in the experience, in the way it feels. So you know that what you've experienced is genuine. What do you do? Well, you could get yourself a camera, talk to it, broadcast it on YouTube and see what people make of it. And that can open you up to a lot of criticism, a lot of negativity, a lot of um, attitudes and values and value judgments and people calling you crazy, people laughing at you. Mm. Or you could just stay silent. Find some kind of like corner of the blogosphere, some forum or rather which seems to connect with these things and try and find other people who say that they understand the same thing as you. Connect socially with people who say that they understand the same thing as you. You listen to them, you take on board some of what they say. Maybe you do your own experiments based upon what they said. Maybe you tell other people what they've, what these uh, other bloggers and other people have said. Yeah, maybe that doesn't quite work out all that well for you. And maybe those other sources of other people who say that they understand actually don't because they haven't experienced it. Or they haven't experienced it in the same way as you. I'm going to have to tell you the truth. You are alone. But what you've experienced was probably true. Not in every possible case. And your attempt to understand it based upon existing folk myths may turn up false. So you try and break it down into its components parts. You try and analyze the experience. And you try and work out for yourself what, what it could be. You explore different avenues of thought. 
and then you come to your own conclusions and eventually the world will catch up with you but it'll be you who will have been the first of your kind the genuine pioneer in what is essentially a frontier science I heard the phrase frontier science first many many years ago when I read a very poor quality book on the subjects of magic I didn't quite know what it meant then essentially what it means is people who don't really have a scientific background or the ability to analyze and break down ideas doing their own experiments in a rather roughshod kitchen table backyard kind of a way sometimes that's what we're left with but sometimes out of the most unlikely people can come the most amazing discoveries eventually and possibly not too far into the future there will be some kind of critical mass of ideas and things will change how and in what direction will have to be up to people to decide and when people have decided they may still be wrong because the quantity of information there is out there to gain and the quantity of experiences there are out there to gain are intense feel comfortable with being relatively alone and do your own research and your own investigation and find the solution yourself and you may get it wrong and things won't be perfect but it's what has to be done right now look after yourselves <laughs>